Hi, Shauna Holt with shaunaholt.com. And um, even if you're a new business owner, you probably have still heard that the money is in the list. You know, but how do you get started creating an email list? Well, there are five basic steps that I'm going to share with you today. And as you jump on, um, give me a one if you already use email marketing and a two if you haven't started. So today I'm really speaking towards you if you haven't started doing an email um, email marketing. But I'm sure that there are still a few tips if um, for you if you have been doing it even for a while. So let me tell you about Carrie. You know, she started a website for her new paleo lifestyle. She enjoyed sharing her health journey online. And although she'd originally meant just for the site to be a hobby, she decided to turn it into a business thanks to her friends encouraging her to do so. Now, when Carrie reached out to me, she wanted to know the first step that she should take in her new venture. And I told her that you need to start growing your email list now. You know, you can't do that. You can do this by offering a, a free gift. Um, when visitors come to your website, you sign up for the gift. It's, it's delivered to them automatically. Their e and then their email address is kept in a database so that you can email these subscribers again and again. So here's my five steps for creating an email list. Number one, start a, a email list by choosing a service. So before you begin building a list, you'll need to subscribe to an email list service. Now this mailing list provider will keep a copy of your subscribers personal information in a database so that you can email them again in the future. Now, two budget friendly options for new entrepreneurs are MailChimp and Aweber. Now, if you have a larger budget or need custom help from a mailing list provider, you then you might want to check out um, ConvertKit or Drip. But if you really want to go all in and, and build an unlimited list with lots of support while setting it up and using it, I would go with Convert Ninja. It's also a budget friendly option. It has many other extra benefits that will help you to grow your business. I stand behind this company 100%. I don't get anything for, for referring you, but I know the owners in real life and I was one of the founding members that beta tested it in the very beginning. So I kind of really know the ins and outs of Convert Ninja. If you need any more information about that, just let me know and I'd be happy to share it with you. Number two is to create a list or a campaign. Now, once you have an account with a mailing list service, you'll need to create your very first list. You can call this list whatever you like, but in some cases, subscribers can see the title of the list. And this is very true with MailChimp, or at least it was when I used MailChimp. So, you know, it's usually best to go with something generic like your website title subscribers or your brand name subscribers. You know, with Convert Ninja, they won't see the title, so you can really tailor the, the title to your own needs. I usually name my campaigns the same name as the freebie that I'm giving away or even the community that I'm that my list is for. Number three to make your is to make your welcome email. Now, when someone subscribes to your new list, they'll be sent an email automatically. This is when the, the welcome email is, is one of the first emails that your subscribers will see from you. Now, in your welcome email, you'll want to greet your subscriber, thank them for signing up, then provide a link to the free gift so that they can download it. Remember that the opt-in freemie um, should be something that your visitors will find valuable. When sitting down to decide what to offer them, think of their needs and their struggles. This can be something as simple as a checklist. So I will actually be having a workshop on building a perfect opt-in or freebie in my mom's mastering business community in July, in just a couple of weeks. 
If you'd like to get a step-by-step -step instruction on, on creating one, um, just join my community. I'll provide the link after I wrap up here. Um, an example of this first type of email with Carrie's example, um, she created a seven day paleo friendly menu. You know, she did this so that she could introduce newbies to the paleo way of eating. And in her welcome email, she included a link to the PDF that contained the menu. Easy as that. Number four is to email often. You know, some online business owners make the mistake of building an email list that they never message. You know, they rarely email their subscribers and on the rare occasion that they do, they see a high number of unsubscribes. And that's because they were quiet for so long that the sub subscribers forgot who they were. Um, you don't want that to happen to your list. Um, so make it priority to email yours regularly. You know, when you're first starting out, you'll want to send out about two to three messages a week. For, for every freebie I create, I set up a series of emails to go out the first week after they receive um, the welcome email with the link to the freebie. Usually the second email, I'm giving them something else for free. Um, a lot of times it's inviting them um, to become a part of my free community. Now I have two free communities. One is for moms, uh, mom business owners. It's the Moms Bastering Business where I'm going to be having that workshop. And I have another for women striving to put their own wellness back on the list of priorities so that they can be their best self. And that's in my journey in wellness. Usually in that email, I'm inviting them to one or the other, depending on what type of freebie I gave them. The next email, I'm letting them know who I am. Uh, the fourth email, I'm telling them what I do, how I can help them. Um, the final email in that series, I'm telling them why I'm the best at what I do and inviting them to something, whether it is to set up a, a phone consultation with me or to buy one of my programs or courses. After that, then that I move them into a long-term nurture campaign list where I'm going to continue giving them valuable content on a weekly or a monthly basis. So number five is to share valuable content with your email list. Now, of course, you shouldn't email your subscribers just to say that you did. You need to send emails with valuable information inside. If your list doesn't feel they're getting anything helpful from you, they're going to stop reading your emails. And I don't know about you, but I get hundreds of emails a day and I really, I skim through the subject lines and I skim through the who it's coming from and to, to open it up based on that. So I'm sure that there are a lot of others that are doing the same thing. So um, back to Carrie, you know, think of quick tips that you could easily share with your audience. She would email her list with recipes, ideas on how to make popular dishes paleo friendly and thoughts about her own food log. You know, sending this information helped her subscribers connect with her and open her emails. So starting your own list can be fun, exciting, even overwhelming, but remember that your goal is to help your people. You know, by sharing useful information, you're serving your community and they'll appreciate that. So tomorrow I'm going to be talking about leveraging giveaway events to grow your mailing list when, um, and the rest of this week I'm going to be continuing the same theme. Um, I had hoped to have already had this uh, freebie created, but I am almost done and um, hopefully I'll have it ready tomorrow. It will be a free workbook called Five Ways to Get Your Mailing List Started. It will have all my tips from all five days along with action steps for you to be able to take these tips and, and put them into action. If you would like um, a copy of that, you know, post your, drop your email below or send it to me in a private message and I will get that to you whenever I've finished. Um, anyway, I hope this was valuable to you. Um, if you have any questions, be sure to comment them below as well. I hope you have a great rest of your day.